Omagena Tamaranda Sya Gananjana Salakaya Jaksima Tamiana Tasma Shingaravenama Sri Chaitanya Manobishta Shtapatami and Abhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadanti Sambadantakam Vancha Kapata Rupi Sakrapasandu Vivacha Patitanam Bhavani Vivishna Vivinu Manama Chaitanya Charitam Bhoja Makundali Yojibi Isham Prashara Machanya Paramapya Mababa Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada Chananda Shri Advaita Gara Shri Vasani Gaura Bhaktamanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare On Sunday last was the um, 48th year of the inauguration of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Forty-eight years ago, uh, in New York, uh, Prabhupada inaugurated ISKCON. At that time, there was only one temple, and that, and that was the rented guest house, sorry, rented storefront uh, in 26 Second Avenue. И это был магазинчик, который снимали на 26 авеню. At that time, Prabhupada had not initiated any devotees. The first initiation took place on Krishastami Day, which would have been August 1966. So Prabhupada had no official initiated disciples, although he had a band of followers. A band of followers. A, a, a group of followers. Frozen. Got me? No, I didn't hear you. Oh, although Prabhupada had a band, a, a group of followers. So I'm reading from, uh, I'll read a little bit from Prabhupada Lilamrita. We shall call our society ISKCON, Prabhupada said, laughing. It had been suggested that we call the society International Society for God Consciousness. But Prabhupada insisted Krishna Consciousness. He said the word God was a vague term. Whereas the word Krishna was exact and scientific. The word God Consciousness was spiritually weaker and less personal. Krishna Consciousness, Prabhupada said, was a rendering of a phrase by Rupa Goswami. Uh, Rupa Goswami's book called Padyavali. 
has a famous verse which is also repeated in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. And it starts off Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavata Mati. Uh, Mati means intelligence. So our intelligence is absorbed in Krishna Bhakti Ras. So Prabhupada had plans to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. And this is also described in his uh, in the seven purposes of ISKCON. Uh, the first purpose, Prabhupada writes, is to systematically propagate spiritual knowledge to society at large. And educate people in the techniques of spiritual life. So the emphasis, my realization, is the emphasis should be on the word systematically. In other words, there's a structure. In order to preach effectively, you have to have an institution. Yeah, Rupa Goswami uh, wasn't actually preaching in the, in, in the sense that we know it. Rupa Goswami, он проповедовал не совсем так, как мы понимаем проповедь. He was, of course, writing books and rediscovering spiritual places, but he wasn't going door to door, city to city, uh, preaching ABC Bhagavad Gita. Он писал книги и находил первые места, места игр, места паломничества. Но он не ходил от двери к двери, не переезжал в город. But Rupa Goswami was giving us the books by which we will preach in the future. Can you repeat? Yeah, Rupa Goswami was giving us the books which in the future we will distribute. Rupa Goswami gave us books with which we will distribute in the future. Yeah, I mean, 500 years ago there was no printing press. Books were handwritten. But Rupa Goswami gave us, for example, uh, Bhaktari Samhita Sindhu, which is Nectar Devotion. Or Upita Samrita, which is now Nectar Instruction. Mm. I remember when the Nectar Instruction book first came out, we were reading the uh, unpublished manuscripts. The uh, in 1974, there was a sannyasi preaching here in South Africa, and he got the unpublished um, manuscript before it was printed. This was uh, November 1974. And we were going, first time ever this book had been uh, discussed in the West. 
И он достал эту книгу в то время, в 1974 году, и что она не отвязалась на Западе. So, Rupert Goswami wasn't going door to door, like we do in Ukraine, in Kharkov, in Kyiv. We go to the factories, etc. И Рупак Ислами, он не ходил человеку к человеку от двери к двери, как мы это делаем на Украине, посещая разные заводы и фабрики. So the time of Rupa Goswami and Raghunath, there wasn't an institution. There was just a loose confederation, friendships amongst the Goswamis. И в те времена группы Гослами еще не было какой-то организации. Это были просто дружеские собрания Вашнава. But Srila Prabhupada's contribution to the uh, Gaudiya Sampradaya was, was to preach in a very systematic way. И Лакшина Прабхупада Гаудия Сампрадая заключался в том, что он uh, начал проповедь, uh, проповедь uh, in, in Especially outside India. So systematic preaching means check and balance. There is a requirement for GBC members, regional secretaries, temple presidents, department heads. Есть uh, разные, так сказать, должности, есть разные требования к GPC, президентам храмов, к региональным секретарям, главам департаментов. And they work in harmony. Uh, they cooperate with, with each other for the higher purpose of, of systematically preaching. И все они сотрудничают друг с другом uh, гармоничным образом ради высшей цели. Yeah, just like in an orchestra, you know, there's perhaps 50 people playing instruments. But they're cooperating together, they're harmonizing, and we have, we have this beautiful orchestral sound. И, но они играют таким образом, что все это антитрунчает друг с другом так, что получается очень красивая гармоничная музыка, которую мы слышим, когда играет оркестр. You have the conductor, who we could compare to Srila Prabhupada, who is guiding and giving us the beat to preach Krishna consciousness. И есть дирижер, которого у нас нужно сравнить с Шилой Прабхупадой, которая дает нам и показывает нам ритм. And this example is nice because in an orchestra you don't hear the conductor, you hear everyone else, but the conductor doesn't make any sound. Almost like the conductor is not there. So, from a certain perspective, we could say that Prabhupada is not present. Of course, he is present, but you can't go up and speak to him now because he's apricot. But still, although Prabhupada is apricot, he's still guiding and keeping us on the right rhythm and beat in the Siskon mission. Mm. Now, sometimes we hear um, a somewhat neophyte statement where someone says, no, Prabhupada is still guiding me, he's still telling me what to do. 
Иногда можно услышать, как некоторые начинающие преданные делают заявление, что «Ну, Шелкурупада по-прежнему ведет меня, он говорит со мной, дает мне наставление». So for a devotee who's on the stage of bhajana kriya or nishta, uh, bhajana kriya, nata, navriti, nisha, uh, nishta, even ruchi, um, self-realized souls don't respond like that. И обычно следами, которые находятся на уровне бхагана крия, нарта, навриди, нишки, и может быть даже ручи. Обычно с ними такие самореализованные души ну, так не общаются, это не происходит подобным образом. But when one is more advanced, like a Shakti, especially Bhav, then self-realized souls can dictate in a very clear way, just like a telephone call. Это уже больше происходит с преданными, которые достигают уровня Сакти, особенно уровня Бхава, когда Другие реализованные, самореализованные преданные могут общаться с ними и давать им указания очень четко и ясно, как будто по телефону. But for devotees on, on a lower stage, Nishta and below that, we're not going to have, it's called Spurti, uh, see these great self-realized souls in our hearts. И вот что касается преданных с уровнем нижки и ниже, то они не могут еще достигать этого состояния, которое называется термином «спрути», то есть вот это вот проявление в сердце, когда принципе непосредственное указание. We're not going to see them on a regular basis. То есть мы не сможем видеть их регулярно. But occasionally, and very occasionally, even Krishna, Lord Chaitanya, great self-realized souls like Prabhupada can give their uh, momentary darshan and instruction to a very neophyte devotee that is very rare. И вместе с тем также хочется сказать, что все же очень очень редко бывают такие случаи, когда Господь Чайтанья, Господь Кришна и такие самореализованные личности, как Шила Прабхупада, могут проявляться на какое-то мгновение давать такой моментальный даршан, мгновенный даршан преданным, даже преданным на самых низких начинающих стадиях. So, that's an example of mercy, a very rare, and mercy coming in swapna. Swapna means dream. И вот это пример такой необычайной милости, которая чаще всего проявляется в стене, которая называется swapna. Swapna – это сон. Sometimes Prabhupada, Rupa Goswami, uh, on Saturday was Lokanath Goswami's disappearance. By their mercy, sometimes Swapna, they can come in dream. Swapna means dream. But Uh, on a regular basis, to get direction from self-realized souls, one has to be siddha, advanced, perfect. Yeah. И вот для того, чтобы регулярно да, получать такие наставления, указания от uh, самореализованных uh, личностей, um, для этого нужно быть на уровне совершенства также, нужно быть ситхом. So there has to be check and balance, and this means systematically a system. So this ISKCON movement is really very, very extraordinary. Iskand, Iskand is a personality. Yeah, is a Just like Krishna is a personality. Yeah, Just like Krishna's pastimes are personalities. Yeah, Just like Krishna's name, uh, Nam and Nami, the name is also a personality.
The name is also a personality. It's blank, Shadon. It's busy tonight, I guess. Is that what it is? Busy tonight. I can hear now. I can hear now. So, um, ISKCON is a very extraordinary mission. Now, first of all, it's Prabhupada's personal preaching mission. So, if we have any gratitude towards Prabhupada, we should be well wishers of ISKCON. И если у нас есть uh, какая-то благодарность, что uh, ли проупали нам, надо всячески стремиться помогать и Due to various reasons, some devotees may be in the very forefront of the ISKCON mission, like sannyasis and GBC members. Кто-то из первых таких, как саньяси и члены GPC, могут быть на самом фронте, впереди всех в этой миссии. The vast majority of our ISKCON members are congregational devotees. Большинство членов ISKCONа — это семейные люди. So the point is, we should always be anukul favorable to ISKCON. And the main reason is because it's Prabhupada's personal preaching mission. And Prabhupada is the one that left India and came to the West to preach Krishna consciousness. These other institutions, which will be loosely called Gordia Mat, which are bona fide, because they are aligning themselves with followers of Srila Bhaksadanta. So they are bona fide organizations. And we should offer our respect to such organizations and the members of such societies. But they are taking the remnants of Prabhupada's preaching. Yeah, just like you take the remnants of the uh, remnants as Prashad. Uh, Here is a very nice statement from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Chaitanya Charitamrita Ancha Lila 588. Translation The activities of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are just like an ocean of nectar. И перевод деятельность и игры Шиштани Махапрабху подобны океану. Even a drop of this ocean, даже капля из этого океана, can can inundate all the three worlds. А может затопить все три мира. Попот. To inundate the three worlds with nectar. Для того, чтобы затопить все три мира нектаром, is the purpose of the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Это является целью игр Шиштанья Махапрабху. How this could be possible was shown. 
by Raghunath Das Goswami and later by Thakur Narottam Das. And Shyamananda Goswami, who all represented the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay, now that same mercy is over flooding. I can hear. Now that same mercy is over flooding. The entire world. Through the Krishna consciousness movement. Now Prabhupada writes. The present Krishna consciousness movement is non-different from the pastimes performed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he was personally present, for the same principles are being followed. And the same actions performed without fail. So Prabhupada is saying this Hare Krishna movement is non-different from Lord Chaitanya's Leela. The ISKCON movement is the most powerful a mission for spreading Lord Chaitanya's mercy throughout the world. And we should try to assist the Siskon mission. And we're very fortunate to be connected to the Iskon society. Now, Srila Prabhupada writes in the song Nitai Pada Kamalam. He asks the question, what is the aim of the Hare Krishna movement? And he gives the answer. He says, word for word, he was strong already this moment. The aim of the Hare Krishna movement is to, is to associate with Radha and Krishna and serve Lord Krishna in a sublime pleasure dance. So that pleasure dance is called the Rasa Lila. It takes place during the day, but mostly at night. Where Lord Krishna, in a purely spiritual body, dances with the gopis, who also have who also have pure spiritual bodies. Prabhupada writes in the eighth canto. Um, like to give you reference. Eighth canto, chapter twenty four, text fifty two. The goal of life is to live with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. To play with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. To dance with the Supreme Personality of Godhead and to eat with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
и есть Верховный Личность и Бога. We want to join Lord Krishna's sublime pleasure dance. Srila Vishnu Chakravati Thakur writes in his Sarata Darshani. Which is his commentary on the 10th canto которая в свою очередь является его комментарием на десятую песню. That there were three billion gopis dancing with Krishna. Там он пишет, что там в этом танце вместе с Кришной танцуют три миллиарда гопи. Each gopi had a particular mood. И в каждой гопи есть свое своеобразное настроение. And each gopi thought Krishna is only dancing with me. И там каждая гопи думала, что Кришна танцует только со мной. Some gopis were dakshin bab, which means very, which means very submissive to Krishna. У некоторых гопи есть дакшин баба или настроение такое смирение. Они очень послушны Кришне. It means they were under his control. Это означает, что они под его контролем. The word is greater sneha. Sneha means affection, but greta means like ghee. Sneha означает привязанность или любовь, грита означает как ghee. But other gopis were more vama, which means leftists. А другие гопи в настроении. They were a little bit. There's an English word they're saying that means haughty. У них такой горячий темперамент. Yes. So they weren't, they would, they weren't so much under Krishna's control. Они не так там сильно слушаются Кришны, подчиняются ему. And their mood was madhu sneha. И их настроение это madhu sneha. Madhu means honey. Madhu это мел. Sneha again means affection. If you compare ghee, greeter, to honey, madhu, which is superior? They look the same. They feel the same. But the honey is superior. No, milk is superior. So the Madhu Sneha Radharani is superior. The Madhu Sneha, which is the Radharani, is superior. To the Greta Sneha of Chandravali. This is all described very clearly in Ujjal Nilamani. Все это описывается в Ужолом Ламане. By Rupa Goswami. Написано на Рупа Госвами. So altogether, three billion gopis, all with different swabhavs. Swabhav means mentality or moods. И вот там было три миллиарда гопи, у каждого из которых была своя swabhava, означает настроение, менталитет. Dancing with Krishna. For a whole night of Lord Brahma. Four billion years. So when Prabhupada says the goal of life is to dance with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, this is what he means. И когда Шила Прабхупада говорит, что цель жизни – это танцевать с Верховной Личностью Бога, именно это он имеет в виду. Having a spiritual body, you dance for four billion years. Иметь духовное тело и так танцевать в течение четырех миллиардов лет. So Prabhupada is giving this ultimate goal in the ISKCON mission. И Шила Прабхупада дает это как некую высшую цель в обществе ISKCON. If we continue to practice Krishna consciousness as Prabhupada has taught us, we can attain this goal. Dancing with Krishna. 
Dancing with Krishna, eating with Krishna. Śrīla Prabhupāda ki jai, the inauguration of the ISKCON mission ki jai, Gopremanandi.